There we go. Good morning. Are we already live? Yes, we should be already live. This is Richard Baboni from Los Angeles. Welcome back to Spring Forest Every Day. So happy to be with you here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. And now we are live. Uh, let me move over to my space. There we go. Well, good morning. Welcome. Benvenu, buenos dias, buongiorno. Guten Tag, thank you for joining us from around the world here at Spring Forest Qigong every day. I'm Richard Baboni, I'm back in Los Angeles. So happy to be with you today. So happy to lead you in the practice. Today I'm gonna to go back to a couple of the five elements movements, which is part of the level one Qi activation now. You know, the Master Lin says, everything you need to know is in level one. It seems very simple, but it's really so powerful. It's all there. And you've gotten a lot of information watching with all the teachers on the daily SFQ everyday classes. So try to use all the tools in your toolkit and try to really make that connection, to really feel your connection to the universe and your ability to activate your chi, your ability to heal faster and more completely. My theme for today and this week was attention is attention and intention. So talking about attention, paying attention to all the tools you have. You know about the movements, you know about the meditation, you know about the chanting, you know about the visualization, using the colors, using your imagination. You know about directing the chi with your mind, using your yi to direct the chi. So many powerful techniques that Master Lin has gifted us. And the key, the key is practicing. You need to do the work. No one can do it for you. It doesn't have to be a lot, just be a little bit every day, 10 minutes if that's all you have. Remember it's good, better, best. So let's get started. I'm going to start as always, get this chair out of the way. From the beginning of the universe position, we're going to start with our bouncing. By the way, do you like my Luca shirt? I lived in Luca, Italy for five years. My children were born there. It is a beautiful city that a lot of Americans don't know. It's between Florence and Pisa. Highly recommend a visit to Luca next time you're in Italy. All right, let's go. Feet are shoulder width apart. The knees are bent, the shoulders are relaxed. You start to round your arms. You slow down your breathing. Take a relaxing deep breath just to begin and enter into this space, the space of your practice, the space of this chi field with this spring forest qigong community. And leave your worries, leave your thoughts aside. Focus on your heart. This is a heart-based practice. And now begin to bounce. Bouncing from the knees, just freely let it go. Let your wrists and arms move freely. Your shoulders are relaxed. You're breathing in through the nose and out through your mouth. A smile is coming to your lips as you Feel that earth energy pumping up through your legs, into your torso, activating, awakening all your internal organs, awakening your chi. And raising your hands up over your head, consciously with attention, softening the shoulders, maybe opening the shoulders, letting those wrists flap freely Master Lin teaches us that all the joints are important energy buttons. And you'll notice that during the warm up and preparation phase, we wind up tapping or cupping or moving almost all the joints in the body. 
As you continue to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, smile, have fun, feel good. Knowing that you are opening, here's your intention, you're opening the channels, all the energy channels in your head, in your neck, your shoulders, your upper back, your upper chest. You're moving your limbs. You are open, 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 completely open. Bring your hands down now. Continue to bounce just as you sway gently a few times left and right. And then coming to a rest. As we begin the tapping and cupping phase of the preparation, middle three fingers are with your knuckles on the center of the cheeks, under the center of your eyes, tapping nine times. On the inside edge of the eyebrows, nine times. Or may a cup with your hand, leaning forward, cupping or patting the top of your crown nine times. Sliding your hand to the base of the skull and cupping nine times. Now reaching for that C7 vertebrae, another very important energy button. Opening up the C7 is a key, allowing the chi to flow freely up and down your spine, massaging in a clockwise direction or an up and down direction. Bring your hands in front of you. We're going to clap to open up the heart channel. Cupping the inside left elbow nine times. And the inside of the right elbow. Now under the left armpit. And under the right armpit. Leaning forward, you're going to tap on the tailbone area. So not right on the tailbone, if you have any sensitivity there, but around the tailbone. Getting a really good vibration going, alternating the speed, alternating the intensity. The tailbone is a vital energy center at the tip of your spine. Now we're going to cup, uh, sorry, Tap on the hips. And the knees are bent, shoulders are relaxed, elbows are out, and you're tapping, sending that vibration to your hips, but also to all your reproductive organs, to your tendons and ligaments in your legs, to your knees. Leaning forward, cupping the tops of the knees nine times. Back to the knees. Now the sides of your left knee and the sides of your right knee. Slowly straighten back up. Bring your hands into prayer position. Bow your head gently forward as you humbly, sincerely ask your spiritual master, your God, the divine, the universe, the true source, your ancestors, your spiritual teachers, whoever it is that you hold in the highest respect, whoever it is for you represents the unconditional love, the healing energy, compassion, kindness, and forgiveness, invite them to come now and help you with today's practice and make a specific request for whatever you'd like to work on, the physical, the emotional or the spiritual level for yourself, for a friend. And once you've made your request, just relax, let your hands fall to your sides and back to the beginning of the universe position. So attention to the posture, the feet firmly on the ground, all four corners of your feet, like they like to say in yoga, Maybe with the toes gripping just a little bit. Knees are bent. Straighten the spine, tucking in the tailbone, tucking in the chin so your head is flat. 
relaxing the shoulders, opening and rounding the arms, rounding the hands, spreading the fingers, changing your breath now to breathing into the nose and out to the nose. And as you close your lips, you automatically put that smile, you automatically start your internal love engine with the tip of your tongue resting behind your front two teeth. The tip of the tongue being the switch that connects the front energy channel and the back energy channel. Slowing down your breath now, focusing on the breath, focusing on the sensation in your hands, on the space between your arms and your body. As you breathe in and out, you feel that your arms are just moving ever so slightly in that sea of chi. Just with your breath, you can already make that connection. But now you really kick it up a notch with the spring forest password. Let's say it together and combine it with our breath. Here we go. I am in the universe. And breathe in the universe. The universe is in my body. And feel how that feels for you. The universe and I combine together. You are in the universe. The universe is in your body. You and the universe are one. Feel how amazing that feels. Feel how peaceful that feels. Feel how good you feel. Okay, let's begin the third of the five healing element movements. We sweep our arms up over our heads like we're holding a giant beach ball. Consciously relax the shoulders. If you can, for the duration of this movement, you keep your arms up over your head. If you can't, you can bring them down. You can move them up and down. You can actually sit down. Remember, it's good, better, best. Remember the power of your intention. If for any reason you can't do the movement today, if you're not feeling it, always respect your body. Respect how you feel today. It could be different from yesterday, different from tomorrow. In this moment, how do you feel? If you can, keeping the hands up over the head, as you breathe in through the nose, you bend the knees and drop to whatever level you're comfortable with. And then the exhalation, you straighten back up. Breathing in, bending, dropping. Breathing out, straightening back up. This is connecting to the earth and connecting to the universe. So as you breathe in, you feel your feet on the ground. You feel that you have roots going nine, 10 feet into the earth. You are a citizen of the earth in your connection to Mother Earth. The support and nurturing of the earth makes you feel so good, so grounded. At the same time, we reach the heavens and our connection to the universe makes us feel so peaceful. So as we are doing connecting to heaven and earth, I invite you to feel the groundedness, feel the peace with every breath.
and feel the groundedness, feel the peace in every thought. And now using your mind, using your visualization, visualize that the peaceful energy, the unlimited peaceful energy surrounding you penetrates your skin as you breathe in, penetrates every cell, every pore, fills you up, filling every cell in your body, every tissue, every bone, every organ with peace. And feel how wonderful that feels. Breathing into your lower down chin, three inches behind your navel, collecting the chi in that reservoir. Breathing out, sending the chi to any area of pain or discomfort, visualizing it transforming, turning into light, to smoke, to butterflies, shooting out from your body in every direction shooting back to nature, back to the universe. You know that the positive vibration of peace, this powerful energetic vibration will balance any anxiety, any over worrying, overthinking in your stomach and spleen system. You can visualize a beautiful yellow light surrounding your stomach, healing your stomach. As you connect the peace with every breath. Now again, using your mind to message your body, send a command to your body, send that order saying to yourself, say along with me, all of my energy channels are open. They're open, they are completely open. Any energy blockages are gone, they're gone, they are so completely gone. I know that I am healing right now. I know that I am healing faster and more completely. and feel it, know it, believe it. And bring your hands down to your sides. Take a relaxing breath. Ah, roll your shoulders forward three times. Roll them backward three times. Great. Fourth movement, connecting to our body, pressing the fingertips together, forming a heart shape in front of your navel. The heart is out away from your body. The shoulders are relaxed. You take a half a step with your right leg and you put 70% of your weight on your left leg. As you breathe in, you shift to the opposite leg and you hold just two or three seconds, and then exhale. On the inhalation, shifting back, and it becomes a beautiful kind of rocking, moving meditation. As you do the movement, you have your attention on your fingers, because the slight pressure on your fingers is activating six key meridian channels that end in each of your hands, connected to your key organs and to your brain. You also pay attention to your breath. And if you can, you do what Master Lin calls the healing or detoxifying breath. You exhale just a couple of seconds longer than you inhale. You can go at your own pace. And if you breathe in, let's say for one, two, three, four, try exhaling for six. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. The positive emotion for this movement is the energetic vibration of contentment. Think of something that makes you feel content, something that makes you feel satisfied. 
some person, some place, some activity you like to do. Whatever it is, it gives you that sense of contentment, which will automatically balance out any grief, any sadness, any depression you hold on into your lungs energetic system. You can visualize a beautiful white light surrounding your lungs, healing your lungs. If you followed me before, you follow my Sunday weekly practice group, you know that I like to do the variation that I saw Master Lin introduce at a little four a few years back. And it goes like this. As you shift your weight, you rotate around your core. So chest and face moving together as one till you look to the opposite side. You're looking away now. Turn as far as feels comfortable for you. Continuing looking away as you shift your weight to the opposite leg, breathing in. And then the exhalation, the slow rotation, moving hands, face, chest together to the opposite side. You're looking away again. So this variation will work your knees and hips a little more. So attention, if you're having any real issues there, you might wanna go back to the other version. But I find that it's really beautiful. It's almost like you're doing a figure eight or an infinity sign. As you connect to contentment, as you visualize that white light around your lungs, you can even expand the white light and surround your whole body. Master Lin says the healing occurs in the light. Isn't that amazing? All right, my friends, let's bring our feet back to shoulder width apart and start warming up those hands. It's time for the harvesting of chi. Get them nice and warm. Place them on your eyes. Send that love and light directly from your palms to your eyes as you see the colors emitting from your palms as you send gratitude. You say thank you. Thank you. Thank you to your eyes. Bring the hands down to the bottom of the chin, pressing up the bridge of the nose across the forehead, down the sides of the cheeks. Close your eyes as you visualize your heart. And you say to yourself, I love my face. I love my skin. I love my nose. I love my cheeks. I love my lips. I love my throat. I love my teeth. I love my chin. Brushing back to the scalp with the tips of the fingers nine times, say, I love my brain. Pour me a cup with your hands patting from the front to back. Reaching to the back of the head and cupping the base of the head again nine times. Now massaging the ears, reflexology, massage, outside edge of the ears, it's your spine, inside are your internal organs, a little tug and squeeze on the earlobe, any area of sensitivity, just spend a little more time there. Nice, bringing your arms down, take a relaxing breath. Bending the left arm, we're gonna cup from the shoulder to the wrist on the inside, the outside, inside, outside, inside, 
And the right arm. Pioneer cupping from the top of the chest to the base of the belly. Under the left armpit, down the side of the ribs. Under the right armpit. Leaning forward, we're going to reach for the kidneys, the side of the loose fist, tapping. With that vibration, activating these vital energy organs, massaging now the kidneys. Tipping your hands, placing the palms, sending love, light, and gratitude to the kidneys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sliding your palms down, sending love and light and gratitude to all your lower organs. Making the loose fist or the back of the hands you can use to tap, this time from the lower back sacrum area down to around the tailbone area and alternate. Feel that lower back sacrum, wow. Changing it up, changing the speed, changing the intensity, working that vibration, activating your chi. Tapping on the sides of the hips. Leaning forward, cupping the tops of the knees nine times. Back to the knees. Sides of the left knee. Sides of the right knee. Slowly straightening back up, interlocking your fingers, resting them on the base of the belly. Massaging the clockwise direction now and saying to yourself or saying out loud, I love my liver. I love my stomach. I love my spleen. I love my gallbladder. I love my pancreas. I love my intestines. If you're a woman, you can love your womb. If you're a man, you can love your prostate. You can simply say, I love all my reproductive organs. Bring your hands down to your sides now. Let's do a quick doffing of the neck, just a few times. Shoulders are relaxed, lower back is straight, extending the chin, tucking to the chest, lifting the imaginary golf ball, straightening back up, and at the very top, leading a little bit back using your attention to feel the transition of the tension as you go from the top of the back of the neck, tucking to the base of the back of the neck, lifting to the front of the neck, and leaning back to the upper chest, and then the intention, opening all the channels in your head, in your neck, in your shoulders, Freeing you of any nasal congestion, chest congestion, allergies, asthma, migraine, headaches, yet. Supporting your lower back. We're going to dolphin the whole spine, bending at the waist, chin goes out, tucking the chin to the chest, rolling back up. Go slow, go at your own pace. Make sure you have your balance. Working on the flexibility of the spine. Smiling, enjoying, loving your spine. Coming back up, we're going to sway gently left and right. Looking forward, chest and face forward. Lowering the hands to hip height. Bring the feet to shoulder width apart. We're going to lift the heels, let them drop freely back down.
bringing hands back to prayer position, bowing gently forward, thanking your spiritual master, thanking your God, thanking the divine, thanking the universe, thanking your ancestors, thanking your teachers. Thank you, thank you, thank you for bringing your unconditional love and healing energy. Thank you all for being part of this community, a part of this amazing she field. I am so looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow. This is Richard Baboni from Los Angeles, wishing you a wonderful Thursday and looking forward to our practice manana. Ciao.